Hello, my name is Nick, and welcome to Watch This Now. Honey Boy is a drama directed by Al Maharel and written by Shia LaBeouf, and essentially this is a movie about Shia LaBeouf's childhood. We focus on a child actor named Otis, played by the incredible Noah Jupe, who is working on a television show. He's making a name for himself. He's a young star. But his father, played by Shia LaBeouf, is abusive and they're living in this shabby motel and the dad he wishes that he was able to make it in hollywood but he never did so he's trying to live vicariously through his son and unfortunately it does not lead to the best results they spend night after night hanging out in this crusty motel room drinking smoking cigarettes this kid's like 12 it's a totally bad environment but hey it's hollywood we start out with the older version of otis played by lucas hedges as he is going into therapy and he's learning to deal with his demons and look back on his life and we see mostly through flashback thankfully we spend most of our time with young otis because that's the story you want to see that's what's more entertaining but we see how older otis is affected by this and he is he really comes to terms with his own life and we see a series of events play out that really just shows the relationship dynamic between father and son noah jupe is incredible as young otis i mean i, I really i was blown away there are times when you see a child performance and you think this must be a fluke this is i have no clue I, I this is maybe even better than jacob trombley in room i mean truly so deserving of uh, any award. Give him all the awards. Noah Jupe is phenomenal in this role, and I feel like no one else could have even pulled this off. Shia LaBeouf takes on a serious task playing his father, which I think a lot of people see as gimmicky, and maybe because he wrote the screenplay, this is just a showy role that he created for himself. I have to disagree. I really think that this is a huge challenge for him, and he rises to the occasion because he does such a good job and maybe once again no one could have played the role quite like him because it's his own dad i don't think the screenplay is that amazing i think this is a one big therapy session for him but i think that there is a lot done to make this more than just words on a page and director al maharal does Something that I really appreciated in this film, a lot of these dramas will have lots of close-up focus on our characters, and I'm always just like, get this camera out of their pores. We've got a lot more to see here. And one thing that I really liked was that a lot of the filming was close in and close up on our characters to show our focus on them. However, it was also still visually appealing to the eye, so the work between director and cinematographer I thought was great. This is really well done overall. My problem with Honey Boy is just that ultimately it doesn't amount to a whole lot as a story. There really isn't a lot of there there. You just watch scene after scene of young Otis really trying to find his way with this sad sack of a dad which is really quite depressing and when you bridge the time periods from young Otis to older Otis there's a disconnect that I was thrown off by I didn't really feel like I was with one character and I also didn't really feel like it wrapped up properly and also without really spoiling anything I will just say that it gets almost meta where the film strip tells you like Otis is like I'm writing this screenplay about my life and I'm like oh here we are. But Honey Boy will be streaming on Amazon Prime soon, so definitely give it a watch if this is something that has been on your radar. I think it's worth watching, however, it doesn't have a strong enough story that really captivated me, and I felt like it was really just a two-hander of performances between Noah Jupe and Shia LaBeouf. However, those performances are certainly strong enough to watch the film for. So definitely give Honey Boy a watch when you can. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I don't think it's bad, I don't think it's a failure by any stretch, but I also don't really think that there is a whole lot here that would make me want to revisit it. I just think it has really great performances, and unfortunately that's kind of it. What did you guys think of Honey Boy? Let me know in the comments below, share your thoughts, share your opinions, and subscribe to this channel as I got a whole bunch of reviews coming your way, so hit the bell or whatever you do. Stay on the lookout, and I'll see you in my next video.